of Chibok in the northern state of Borno. This is where Boko Haram kidnapped more than 270 girls six months ago. Now, Aminu Gamawa is a conflict resolution analyst, and he joins us live now from Boston to talk more about uh, Boko Haram. Thank you for being with us. So, how does this conflict get resolved, then, in your view? Well, uh, the um, capture of Chibok is a sad development, but I would like to make it clear that uh, Boko Haram has captured a territory that is estimated at about 20,000 square uh, kilometers, and uh, many, many people, about 2 million, are now under the direct control of Boko Haram. This is indeed a sad development, and I believe that it is time for the government to radically examine its current policy. It seems like the government in power is more concerned with the next election than solving this problem. The community members that I have spoken with feel hopeless and helpless, and this is indeed sad. So there is need for the government to equip the army to protect the population that have been affected. There is need for the government to attend to the needs of the internally displaced populations and the population that have also been displaced to neighboring countries of Chad, Cameroon, and Niger. And, of course, Nigeria needs to seek the support of neighboring countries and the international community in resolving this conflict. It seems like Boko Haram is becoming stronger and more brutal by the day, and this is unsustainable. If the government doesn't do anything about it to stop the uh, wave of violence, uh, there is likelihood that it may escalate to the rest of the country and the whole region is threatened by this uh, violence. Do you think do you think there is any scope for uh, any sort of uh, uh, negotiation here at all uh, with with Boko Haram because as you alluded there at the beginning they are they are in a position of strength right now Exactly. I mean, uh, in the last couple of weeks, we have heard uh, that the government is engaged in negotiation with Boko Haram, but it turned out that either the government is deceiving the people or someone is deceiving the government or both. And I think it's time for the government to really uh, 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 take this issue seriously and engage the genuine people who have access to Boko Haram, particularly those in the communities that have been affected. Uh, our main fear is if this this continue to be like this in communities like Goza, in communities like uh, uh, Burma, the population there may be radicalized and Boko Haram may conscript many more fighters and it would be hard to resolve this uh, 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 conflict. So in our opinion, the government needs to do more and uh, there, needs, there is strong need for sincerity and there is strong need for engaging the right people. There is need for greater collaboration between the state governments and the federal government, stronger collaboration between the communities affected and the government. Currently, the people feel like the government is not doing enough. They have to rely on vigilantes and community hunters to protect themselves, and I think that is unsustainable. Good to get your perspective on this. Amino Gamawa joining us from Boston. Thank you. Now, French officials say Algerian President Abdel...